take a minute to tell you guys this video was sponsored by Shop Carl. So I ordered a bunch of stuff from Shop Carl's and I got 30% off because I got Carl's Club, 30% off the whole store. I bought line for all my new reels and rods. I got some baits, some lures we're using today. So you guys can check it out. I'll put the link in the description down below. Today we're at Lake Seminole. We got over here kind of late because it's supposed to be raining and everything. So we're getting the boat ready to put in. I'm fishing off the boat ramp. I ain't turned my camera on now. I know this is going to sound like a fishing story. I made a cast. And I seen a fish fall on my bait, my speed worm back up to the bank, so I dropped it. Six pound bass grabbed it. I set the hook and didn't get to, I didn't do a very good hook set, and I missed him. And I threw back out there and caught a bass that was probably about a pound and a half. So we're thinking this might be the spot. We put the boat in and we fish up here. Look at all this stuff. We got all these lily pads. Let me stand up and you guys see it better. All these lily pads. We're looking at, looking at the fish finder and it's showing some really good grass, but uh, we didn't get any bites course so now we're heading out to the lake what we're gonna do today guys we're gonna we're gonna go fish some deep timber with big crankbaits 25 divers so I ain't even got my pole in the water yet and he's he's got a fish that got him hung up might have been that limb pulling back on him. Whenever the weight hits it, you need to give it some slack. And what's gonna happen, that weight is gonna hit it, and you're gonna give it slack, and it's gonna pop off the bottom of whatever it's on. It broke. I'm gonna start off throwing my Spro flat sided crankbait. This is a Lil John DD. It is a 16 to 19 diver, and I've got a 14 pound four carbon line on here with my PC Fun Phantom X reel. This is a deep cranking reel, it's 531 gear ratio. And I've got on my torrent medium heavy rod. Oh. That felt like, that, that was weird. Maybe it was just pulling over a log. Well, it's raining. And it's not that it's raining, it was lightning and thundering so and I'll put up with the lightning or the thunder. So we got off the water, we're sitting in the truck. The sun will come out tomorrow. Today, now, the sun's back out, guys. We're out the truck, the storm has blown over. It only took about 30 minutes. And we're gonna get in the boat, we're gonna go out to the river, and we're gonna find these fish. So right here is where I hooked a five pounder this morning. I was standing right over there on that stump. It was really cloudy and I couldn't even see and I threw over here in this grass and I was pulling my speed worm out really fast and I seen something fall and I dropped it on that boat on that little boat ramp and then he picked it up. Of course I missed him. Damn! That was a big one. Holy shit! Oh that's a big bass guys. He's honed in on whatever it is. He wouldn't bite a rattle trap. We don't catch a fish in a few minutes. We'll make a move. This sucks. I mean, seeing the fish jumping and not being able to catch them. We ain't caught one yet. Right there. Right there. They're busted all over the place. Oh, I see him. Guys, jumping out the water over here again. That was a big splash, too. School big bass boys that was them so guys we just seen what they're feeding on they're feeding on little shad that are about this size they look about like this so I put this tiny little bait on so we seen a school dad seen a school of them swim by the boat and they were about this size so right now we're gonna try to match the hatch and uh, see if we can pull a bite because these bass are honed in on these little shad this is the second time we have gotten into them schooling and just cannot get them to bite anything. And I threw all kinds of stuff at them. So now that we've seen what they're feeding on, maybe we can we can get a bite. Ooh, that's a bite. Got him. Got him. Got him. Come on up here, Bassy. There we go, I picked one up, finally. Check him out, boys, I caught one, I caught one. I had pulled it and then I dropped it. Whenever I dropped it, my line went slack, I felt a tick, tick. 
Oh, there's another bite. Got him. Here's another one, boys. They're small, but they're fun. Catching something. What are you gonna do with him? All right, it's my lucky worm. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna cast out there again. Yep. Next cast. All right, guys. I'm gonna break down the bite for you real quick. So this is a PC Fun Phantom reel. It's got 701 gear ratio. This is a Serpent IM7 rod, seven foot medium heavy with a fast action tip. I've got 12 pound suffix fluorocarbon on here. I got from Carl Shop, and I've just got a three out wide gap hook, a little watermelon speed worm, and a quarter ounce tungsten. And what I'm doing is I'm throwing it out, and I'm letting it hit the bottom, and I'm just giving it a, a long pull back up. Whenever you pull it back up with this fluorocarbon, you can feel that little tail flutter. So then after I give that long pull up, I'm letting it drop. And then whenever I let it drop, my line's going slack, and on the slack line, I can feel them biting it. With this fluorocarbon, with mono, I probably wouldn't be able to feel that. I feel like a bite. It is a bite. Oh, I got him. Oh, this is a good one here. This is a good one here. This is a hog right here. Ah, oh, he just got grass on him. This is a better one, though. So guys, I, I switched it up here. I was wanting a bigger fish and I put it on a 10 inch um, old monster. And this is a three eighths ounce tungsten. And I was just working it fast through, popping it through that grass and dropping it down in there. And whenever I dropped it down in there, he grabbed it. Who's got a fish boys? Another one. Come on up here. Would you catch him with a fluke? Put on what the speed worm? He, he choked it. He wanted it. The wind's picked up pretty good as you can see, and we're, it's pretty much impossible to fight this wind and fish the way we're fishing. So what we're going to do is we're going to run back into the canal uh, where we started out at this morning, which is kind of out of the wind, and look for a good spot to fish out the wind for a little while before we go home. See that cloud right there is coming this way and it's bringing a bunch of wind with it. Damn. You got one? Yeah, he's, he's got one, he's got one. Dang, that's a nice one. That's a fat one, that's probably the biggest one of the day so far. Real quick, check him out boys. Biggest one of the day so far. Pops is winning with big fish. Got him! Got him! Oh, 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 oh! Oh, he's got me in the grass. Come out of there. Come out of there. Got him! <laughs> got another one, boys. Oh, with a speed worm. Like three feet of water. Boom! I'm gonna show y'all my secret I hadn't shown you yet while I'm catching these fish. I'm dipping the tail in my magic sauce here secret fish sauce that was a big fish right there oh I got him got him ah, a jackfish <laughs> I mean he nailed it like a big bass would oh holy oh Damn, that, that was a nail. I wonder if that was a jackfish too. Maybe I should have been fishing with chatterbait all day long. Ooh. Is that hitting me? Yeah, that was a hit. That was a hit. It was like in the same area. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. There he is, son. Oh, he come off. It looked like a bass. Did it? Yeah. Might have been a jackfish. I couldn't see him very well. All right, here's one. Here's two. Here's three. Here's four. Dang, we caught more than I thought. Here's five. 
six and seven. That one's really light colored. We're gonna go ahead and call it a day and go back to the house. It's been a long one. Thank you guys for watching. Please hit that thumbs up, drop a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that. I have another video out for you guys soon.